And freight forwarding practitioners have appealed to the federal government to consider reopening the Lolo border. The border links Nigeria and Benin Republic. And the TVC News correspondent Ibrahim Issa reports that the freight forwarding businessmen are affected by the delays, increased costs and disruption of economic activities due to the border closure. Long since the Nigerian government considered closing its borders due to the recent military coup in Niger Republic. The borders were closed to enforce the ECOWAS embargo on Niger. <laughs> Members of the Association of Freight Forwarding Practitioners of Nigeria, alongside importers of various products, conferred on Kano to discuss the matter and how the policy directly affects their operations. The Association of Freight Forwarding Practitioners of Nigeria, Alpon, is a law-abiding association and therefore gives 100% support to the government of Nigeria over this development, especially on Niger, Nigeria and Niger Republic borders. The fine folding businessmen then expressed concern that the policy would have an impact on the Lolo border in Kebi State, which connects Nigeria and the Republic of Benin. They appealed to the government to consider its reopening for businesses to thrive in the area. The freight forwarders believe the Lolo border, when opened, would be an alternate route for containers trapped outside the borders to gain access to the country. This border has a direct link to the Benin Republic and can be utilized as an alternative route to allow thousands of containers that have been transported from the Benin Republic into the country. The situation at the Lola border is a very sad one. Our findings reveal that truck drivers, truck drivers are sleeping on bare floor with some attacked by snakes, with others feeling sick due to the unfavorable condition they found themselves in. The Arewa Economic Forum recently revealed that an estimated sum of 13 billion naira is lost weekly to the border closure. The freight forwarding businessmen and importers are optimistic that, sooner or later, the Lolo border will be opened and business activities will return to the affected communities. Ibrahim Issa, TVC News, Kanu.